Hey guys on Instagram and welcome one second I get to our Facebook community as well or the Facebook personal page. So welcome everyone again uh, to the live. I'm doing this with you guys to talk about the importance of giving back to yourself, the self-compassion, self-love and self-care concepts for the healing process uh, that we're all on, right? And so this is episode number three for Healing for Akira. And again, I am a certified personal trainer functional fitness specialist and a swim instructor. I'm not a therapist or a life coach, but I have had my own life experience that have propelled me to talk about these topics and to stand up for mental health because mental health is an element on my in my brand, Be Fit for Akira, and I always like to stand up for it. And so with the COVID-D, it's really important to continue talking about these topics, especially with healing, because we need them for our fitness journey. We cannot continue uh, our fitness journey if we don't actually heal all the way and we all know it's a lifelong journey it's not gonna happen just one day or in one month or in one week right so self-care self-love and self-compassion and very very briefly welcome again if you're here so self-care is when you love yourself for who you are and then you give it back to yourself to take care of yourself right and and then once you love for who you are then you take care of yourself then you can move on to the self-compassion concept. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So let me be real, as I'm always honest with you guys, this week has been very interesting on for me. I I had to reach out for someone else. I had to reach out to someone who knew me like 10 years ago, uh, about 10 years ago. And I tried to remind myself like, of who you who I used to be back in the day and why I'm not her, like why am I not that Ola that I want to be. Uh, what happened with me? I love you too, Rasha, my cousin. So sometimes you do need to reach out to people who knew you back in the day if you cannot see yourself. And I was really burned out. And she asked me the question, like, do you love yourself, Ola? And it was really hard because I reached that bottom hill and I just volunteered. I'm like, apparently I don't. And it took me time to come back out of it and to understand that no i am enough and that i um i am giving 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 that i forgot to give back to myself and that's really important i feel like it's not just a woman issue hi jihan i think it's also a man uh struggle as well right because people who are like nice genuine for example who are giving back to others it's their nature for example it could be their nature that they forget to give back to themselves and that's why I had that status about the cup, empty cup and what have you. So even if you're not, um, like if you're a mom, I know it's a different situation. I'm not a mom, but I can still relate to the mothers out there and entrepreneurs and all that lifestyle. So the objectives here are again, to cover up self-care, self-love and self-compassion. Self-compassion is actually very important to move forward. Um, Rasha, I would love to go on live with you, but I will talk to you after this, inshallah. <laughs> it's my cousin. So the reason why self-compassion is really necessary because we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes and sometimes these mistakes can build up in our head and then the victim card come in. We play the victim card of ourselves. Like, it's my fault. It, I made this happen because that, that's been happening with me this whole week. And to understand that what happened in the past has happened and then learn from it and forgive yourself for it and move on inshallah and so i have in here in my journal that i want to share with you guys on how to give back to yourself how to love yourself right especially if you're busy take a time out for fresh air obviously number one to take time to write and we are in ramadan day number 15 therefore we're halfway till the end of this month so we're getting close to the cap time the last 10 days the days of little qadr where we can like change our qadr by praying to us and also by doing the retreats that we are taught so taking time alone solo dive deep into you and like learn about yourself like you know i have questions in here that i feel like are really really important and if you're still watching let me know what questions you have but i would like to challenge you guys if you're still watching with me to ask yourself where are these emotions coming from like you know like happiness sadness frustration anger they're all telling you something they're coming 
they're coming to you for a reason. So ask yourself, where are they coming from? Why? And how did you get to that place? So if you're like super frustrated, if you're like super angry at yourself, like your own self, then ask like, why? Where did this come from? How did I get to this place right now that I'm in? And how can I move forward? And then apologize to yourself that it's not always your, your fault. Uh, I feel like maybe I'm the only child, so that could be one of the reasons why sometimes overthink that it's my fault, like, you know, what have you. But ask yourself, like, I, it's not my fault. Um, and if you've gone through something that might have been tra traumatic, right, trauma, traumatic events can leave a scar inside and it can be hard to move on. And that's something I have experienced like recently. And that's why I'm coming and talking about these Healing for Akhira series is because I'm still healing from that scar within me. You know, we all have scars uh, and I believe we all should talk about it. We don't have to talk about it publicly, but talk about it with our own selves. Like, what happened? Why did I allow this to happen to myself? And then obviously go back to the faith concept. Like, it was also a part of Allah's plan for me. Allah's called it for me. And then like one of his nine names is Rahman. The most you know merciful so therefore i have to be merciful myself he is the al -ghaffar, the most forgiving therefore i should forgive myself and he's al wadud the most loving therefore i should love myself for who i am um and <laughs> it's so funny because this week i've been telling myself like you know i'm very you know nice person i like to give a lot to people i like to help people out but then why am i not able to give it back to myself and that's why we need to take a step back and reflect and realize like are we filling our own cup or are we filling people's cups all the time um and I, it can be hard especially if you're a caretaker if you're a mom if you're a dad whatever position you're in um ceos like we're all giving 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 right especially after the pandemic we all want to help each other out which is important but as we're giving back to other people we need to remember to give back to ourselves. And that's my message for today is that self-love, self-care come together. You need both of them and they're necessary in order for you to become passionate on yourself. So take care of yourself. It's not just about a hot tub, bath, shower, putting makeup on, you know, taking care of your, like, your look, outer look, but it's actually taking care of your inner um, look as well. And then be easy on yourself, apologize to yourself. And if you have done any self-harm, for example, any addictions you've had, right? That's where, that's where the addictions can come in because we're all filling something of a void. We're voiding out something. We're escaping something out. And when we are addicted to something, whatever we are addicted to, it's a wake-up call. And um, it doesn't have to be just like alcohol, drugs, or like addictions can be any form. For me, it's my past. It's the past memories that come back in my head that make me kind of hurt. Uh, and so I tell myself, okay, you know, I allow it to be in my head. I learn from it. I cry from it sometimes, and then I move on. And so just allow these scars in, into you that, hey, it's okay. It all happened with a reason. God made you go through it, perhaps, to learn from, about your own self to grow from it and to become the person you are today. Do not be embarrassed of who you are. Be proud of yourself. If you like to help people, if you like to, um, I have a comment on Instagram that says, I have been going through that lately. My past has been creeping up. Yes, so has my mind. So has been mine. And it's not very pleasant all the time, but you know, what so are are they making you happy angry upset for example like do, are you proud of your past so that's where the self-compassion comes in the self-compassion comes in it's like okay it wasn't all my fault for instance it might have been my fault i accept that i learned from it and therefore i'm going to take that and move forward and not play the victim card over it and so i have just been laying in bed crying no not at all hey crying is okay and if you need to hug a stuffed animal, go for it. I've been doing that <laughs> this week. So that is my message for today, guys. If, thank you for watching Facebook. Thank you for Instagram for watching. The reason why I'm doing the healing for Akira as a fitness professional, because I believe it's not just the mind body. It is the mind body and meditation, 
but it's also like mind, body, and soul uh, for my brand at Be Fit for Akhira. And in order for us to keep up with our fitness journey, we need to keep up taking care of our mental health. And mental health, you know, could be depression, could be anxiety, could be disorders that obviously like fitness professionals cannot help where therapy comes in and is necessary. Um, but in order for you to have an effective workout plan, you need to heal. You need to love your body, love your mind, and love your soul in whatever you believe in. So, thank you for coming and watching. I'll see you guys next Friday. I'm going to try my best to keep up with the Healing for Akhira series. Salamu alaikum.